Hey everyone, it's Teresa and I have such a sweet video for you today. It is all about Easter and like the real reason for Easter. <laughs> We're gonna jump in. I have this little block of wood and I've already done a quick um, stain. It's actually a wood tint from Folk Art called Walnut. Walnut is the color. And I've got this decal that I cut out on my Cricut and I will leave a link below or the where I can you where you can get it from basically it's um it's all set up if you have a Cricut where you can just kind of log in and you should be able to just access it from the like the file from Cricut directly I did cut that on some removable vinyl and then used some transfer tape just to you know obviously to stick it onto my surface and I'll leave the measurements of this particular little block of wood and the other block of wood <laughs> we're going to use. I was just kind of using what I had, you know, available. And then I'm going to take some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and do like a full opaque coat. Just one coat though. And now I'm going to take my weeding tool and I'm going to pull up all of that vinyl that I put down. Uh, it's kind of going to give it like a reverse look I don't know I don't know what to call this what is it called guys tell me what is this called anyways I do that all across the way and I am going to eventually if I didn't already I'm going to give it a little sanding I may have already done that it doesn't look like it but I believe I did <laughs> um, and then I've got this little crown of thorns this is just from a cut file that they had on Cricut's design space I did a little bit of uh, editing to it I guess I changed up the contour a little bit I'll have that in that same file though in case you're interested and I just get some hot glue put it right on the front of it and I'm just gonna clean up a little bit of it because there's a little too much glue in like all the little areas of the thorns and everything and the hot glue it wasn't cute it wasn't looking cute so I clean all that up and once I have done that we are done with this project didn't it turn out so nice I love this one they're just all of these projects I just love the way they turned out on to the next one all right so on this one is another block of wood guys <laughs> this one's a lot rougher though I'll be really honest this one was super rough and I, it was just like a spare piece. I'm gonna take this wood stain from Verathane. I'll have the color listed below because I can't remember what it's called. Sun, sun bleached, I think. And originally I was going to put down heat transfer vinyl, but it did not agree with me. So instead I printed my design that I designed over on Canva directly onto some tissue paper and printed it out on the tissue paper. I will link a video for you below of like a more detailed description of how I do that. I did it on a previous video not too long ago. I'll link that for you below. And then I'm going to just take it, kind of make sure that it fits where it's supposed to. And I will take some matte Mod Podge and start to slather that on to this board. Now I did end up having to sand down the piece of wood as well because of that heat transfer vinyl not agreeing with me. Uh, however, it is going to give me some problems. I'm going to jump on to the struggle bus. Um, I was feeling that quite a bit today. I don't know why my stuff did not want to cooperate with me at all. So I'm taking some wax paper, trying to see if that'll let me smooth it out a little bit. It did not. Um, usually I think they say that you can do that with a uh, clear like cling wrap. Apparently I did not have any available. So I'm going to move it around a couple of times. You get a little bit of time to kind of adjust it. I overdid it. Um, you will see in the end that there is quite a bit of wrinkling on here. It's not really bothering me too much. I'll show you kind of what I do to remedy it a little bit. Um, and then, like I said, I try some some different kinds of wraps to see if I could get it to work with me. This is cling wrap, the actual like, like uh, press and seal. That's what that is. That is press and seal. That didn't really work that well either, but it worked better than the wax paper. I don't know why I don't have any like regular old like plastic wrap in here. I have everything else, but apparently not that. Once I get it on there well enough, I'm going to just put down some more Mod Podge. I do it kind of in sections so that it doesn't dry and I'll slowly work, you know, small area by small area, starting to smooth it out and really stick it down onto it. Um, and of course, it's like as I'm doing it, I keep getting these little, you know, Mod Podge boogers in there. And I was like, well, that's not going to help at all. <laughs> so I do eventually get the whole thing smoothed down. I'm going to try to smooth through some of these little sections 
and I was like, well, gee, what can I grab to help me smooth it in? I'm going to try my little scraper from Cricut. And it actually worked better than I thought. I was afraid I was going to tear it because it's obviously just printed on tissue paper. It's not, you know, it's not anything heavy duty, but we're just going to smooth it on down best I can without ruining it. I'm, I'm shocked I didn't go through the paper. I don't know how that didn't happen, but it didn't. Somebody somebody liked me today. Um, so as you, can, as you may or may not can see, it does say he is not here. He has risen or he is risen, excuse me. And then with this one, we're just going to take a sanding block and sand off all of the excess. This is after it has completely dried. And if I have any areas that are kind of just hanging on because they got glued down to the board as well, I'll just take the sanding block and go through and just sand off those pieces as well. Now, of course, once I'm done with this, you know we're not done completely. I almost went through this whole video. This was actually the last project I finished up. Uh, I almost went through the whole project without any way antique wax. How in the world could I do that? Not possible. So I'm going to add some antique wax, and of course I'm doing this, and I end up like, it, it obviously is gonna emphasize all of those wrinkles and, and folds and everything else. So when I'm doing it, I look at it, I'm like, that is not very aesthetically pleasing. I'm like, I don't know how I feel about that. And I decided I don't like it enough. So I do my edges because apparently that top part right there, I forgot to stain. I don't know how I did that, but I forgot to stain it. Um, I'll go back and fix that later. <laughs> I'll at least brush on some stain or something. Um, but then I'm gonna take some of the plaster uh, colored chalk paint and I'm going to brush on just to kind of I don't know almost make it look kind of old and faded I don't know why I go so heavy on the top I'm pretty sure I did that by accident um, but you know what it ends up working out just fine I'm going to basically go kind of back and forth between adding the plaster and adding the antique wax like I said it definitely gives a much more aged effect if you don't want to add paint to it you can also take your sanding block and kind of stand over it I did sand off some of the bottom just to give it a little bit more of that rough look but I love how it turned out so today's video is part of Christ is Risen, hosted by Arrows DIY. She's such a sweetheart. I don't know if you guys know her, but I'm going to tell you about her here in just a second. Uh, she is absolutely delightful. Just such a sweet, sweet person. She's got, you know, a bunch of little rugrats running around. I don't know how she finds time for absolutely everything that she does, but she is one of those wonder women. If you have not checked out her channel, please go over there and do that as well as the playlist. It'll be listed for you below. So sprinkled throughout this wonderful playlist is going to be a gift away. I am one of the channels that's going to be offering up one of my projects. It's your choice. Just make sure you comment on my video and go through the playlist. Check everybody's videos out. Comment on all of the playlists. You can win multiple of the videos and projects and stuff like that. So just check everybody out. On to our last project. This is just a little wood round-ish thing that I believe I got from Hobby Lobby. I've already sanded it down pretty good. And I'm gonna do that same wood tint that I did on the first project. And I was kind of figuring out, well, what side is the top side? <laughs> so I decide on this one. So now I have gotten just some words that I printed off again on my Cricut. This is not a Cricut sponsored video. It's just kind of how it happened to work out. <laughs> um, but I am just going to wiggle that whole thing and I'm going to just figure out kind of roughly where I'm going to put it. Now, because I did this wood tint today, it's not, it's not like it's wet, but it's not like super, super, super dry because it didn't sit overnight or anything. It, they dry really quickly though. So I can get a little bit more play with putting down this vinyl where I'm putting it down and it's not like sticking immediately and still sticks fine though. So it gave me a little bit of time to kind of work with it. And we're going to break out trusty old plaster color chalk paint again. And I'm going to do a pretty messy application on this one. I'm going to speed it up pretty significantly so you can pretend like I can move that fast. I would love that. That would be great. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine cleaning the house that quickly? Whew, man, I would love it. Um, so I am just going to go around the whole thing, the front and the sides. I skipped out on doing the back. I don't know. I just didn't feel like I needed to do the back. I stained the back. I didn't do the paint on the back though. I'm running low on this paint and I don't go over to Walmart very often just because it's not in the greatest area um, of town. So I don't really go there very much. 
So I might have to take a trip out there. I usually get up like super, super early and go over there so I can pick up my chalk paint. It's so funny. The life I lead as a DIYer, right? All right, so once we've gotten our paint all applied, let it dry, you know, a pretty fair amount, not too long, or it will chip. I have experienced that before. That was fun. Um, but it has just dried probably about an hour. And I'm just going to go through and weed out all of my lettering. It's not the fastest process <laughs> because, well, this one's a little bit better than the other project. The first project, the letters were in more of a print format as compared to this one is more of like a cursive. So this one went a little bit faster once I got into, you know, the word that had it all, you know, all smooshed up together. But the other ones, not so much. Speaking of the other ones, I needed to let you know the project where it was like the uh, the three crosses. I have that printable listed for you below. You can just download it from a Google Drive. I'll have it down for you below. And the project with the crown is just from Cricut though. All right, sorry, less talky and more DIYing. So this one, I'm just going to take some of this star bond adhesive. I totally broke off the piece of the top into the cap. I apparently don't know my own strength. It was stuck pretty good, so it wasn't going anywhere. I'm just going to apply some glue in the accelerator, press down, and eventually it'll stick. I had a hard time with this one. I had a lot of spots on it that weren't touching, I guess. So I had to add more glue. Then when I was done with it, I was like, there's still something missing. So I did off camera add in some greenery. You're going to see it here in just a second. And I think it added like just the right touch. You'll go to see it right now. Isn't that so pretty? I thought that that just did exactly what it needed. It needed something. You know what I mean? I like these projects to be pretty simple today, but it needed something. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up my video. It helps quite a bit. And if you're interested in having one of these projects sent to you, you do have to be a U.S. resident, by the way. Uh, make sure you comment. Let me know which project you liked the best and such. And don't forget the playlist. And I'll see you next time.